most amazing artists and welcome to week two of our mouse paint palettes. Now it's called mouse paint palettes because we are going to turn all these beautiful colors that we painted last time into like paint splats on this paint palette. A paint palette is sometimes what a painter will use to hold all their colors in this hole right here. Their thumb will go through that hole and it's usually made out of wood and it helps them easily have their colors available to them while they're painting their picture. So we're not going to use a real wooden palette. We're just going to use a brown piece of construction paper. And what I've done is I've just drawn the shape of a paint palette. Okay. And I did put a hole right there, but we're not going to mess with that today. We're just focused on the shape of our paint palette and on the back of our painted colors that we painted last time, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Um, I painted, no, I'm sorry. I didn't paint these. I drew these, um, paint splats on the back of each one. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six paint splats because we have six different colors. Okay. And the goal of today is very simple. We're just going to cut out these paint splats and we're going to glue them to our palette and then we're going to cut our palette out. Okay, so it's pretty simple today. Just a few steps. And just as a quick review, let's go over how to make each of our secondary colors. Okay, so first, let's think about what are the three primary colors? Can you think of them in your head? What are the three primary colors? If you said red, yellow, and blue, you can go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back and good job, friends. The three primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Now think in your head, what are the three secondary colors? We know the three primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. So what are the three secondary colors? Just think them in your head. If you said orange, purple, and green, you can give yourself a pat on the back. Very good job, friends. Okay, so three primary colors, red, yellow, blue, three secondary colors, orange, purple, and green. Also, side note, another name for purple is violet. All right, three more questions for you guys. What two primary colors do I need to make orange? What two primary colors do I need to make orange? Hmm. If you said red and yellow, good job. Red and yellow mixed together make orange. Very good. Now, do you know what two primary colors you need to mix together to make purple? What two primary colors do you need to make purple? Red and blue. Good job. Red and blue mixed together is purple. Very good. We have one more down here. One more secondary color, green. What two primary colors do you need to make green? I'll let you think for just a second. If you said yellow and blue, give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. Yellow and blue mixed together makes green. Very good job. All right. Now that we have reviewed all of our colors, we are ready to go ahead and get started. You will need your painted paper that we made last time in week one. You're going to need a brown piece of paper with a palette shape drawn on it. I'm also going to be using some glue today and I like to use this little glue cup. Oop, that's not the right side. This little glue cup and it's just regular white glue washable glue and a little glue brush. If you don't have that set up, you can use a glue stick or you can use some tape if you don't have glue at all. And we're also going to need some scissors. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting our paint palette all together. First thing that I want to do is cut out my paint splats from each of my colors. Now we have talked a lot about scissor safety this year, so let's just go over a few of our rules um, as we cut this out. Just remember guys, anytime you're cutting anything out, your scissors always need to be facing away from you. They should never be facing towards you because that's very, very dangerous. You also don't want to point your scissors at anyone else. Okay. So make sure there's nobody near you where your scissors are pointing and my scissors are just staying in the same exact place. They're not moving around going around this shape. They are 
staying in the same exact place. The only thing my scissors are doing are opening and closing, opening and closing. And then my other hand, my lazy hand that's not cutting, is holding my paper and it's going to be rotating my paper, showing my scissors where to cut. Okay, you see that? My lazy hand is holding my paper, my scissors, are staying in the same place. They're just opening and closing and my lazy hand is rotating that paper showing my scissors where to cut. Okay, so here is my first paint splat. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it looks pretty cool. All right, let's just see how it's going to look on our paint palette. Oh yeah, that's gonna look super cool when we glue that on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all of my paint splats. I just have five more to go, and I'll be right back to show you how we're gonna glue it onto our paint palette. I just finished cutting out all of my paint splats. Now we don't want to randomly glue these colors on, okay? I want us to put these in rainbow order, okay? So let's think about the order of the rainbow. Does anyone know which color comes first in the rainbow? Yes, red comes first. So we know red is going to be at the top of our paint palette. What comes after red? Then orange, and then what? Yellow. After yellow, does anyone know which one comes next? Is it purple? Is it green? Is it blue? Which one? It is green, good job. Just two more. Does anyone know which one comes after green? Is it purple? Mm, I don't think so. It must be blue, very good. And then we have one more purple and that's our last one, okay? So we don't want these paint splats to be touching either. We want to be able to see them. We don't want them to be overlapping. We want there to be a little bit of space in between each one. Okay, so once we have our paint splats in rainbow order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, we are ready to glue these down. And I'm gonna glue my red one down first, so I'm just gonna pick it up, flip it over, bring my glue over here, and we are going to do dot, dot, not a lot, because we do not need a lot of glue. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue, and remember, if you get too much glue, drip, drip, Wipe it on the lip of your glue cup, not your lips. Ew, that's nasty. Please don't wipe this glue brush on your lips, only on the lip of your glue cup, okay? So drip, drip, wipe it on the lip, and that's a perfect amount of glue, so I can go around my paint splat using our dot, dot, not a lot, all the way around the edges of my paint splats. Okay, so I'm taking my time, just putting little dots all the way around the edge, making sure I'm being nice and neat, or as neat as I can be, and carefully pick it up. And you can see those little dots going all the way around to the outer edge. We don't even need to put glue in the middle because that would be too much glue. We only need glue around the edge because we want to make sure those edges are nice and glued down. Now I'm going to flip it over where my red goes, up here at the top. Going to hold it down and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's glued down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for every single one of my paint splats, making sure I keep them in rainbow order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then I'll be right back to show you the last step. All right, 
I just glued all my paint splats down and I want to do the wiggle test. So what I'm going to do is flip my paper over. I'm going to wiggle it gently, just a little bit. We don't need to wiggle it like crazy. And if nothing falls off, no edges are coming up, then we're good to go. If an edge does come up or something falls off, that just means you need a little bit more glue. So just put a little bit more glue and you should be good to go. Okay, so we just have one more step today and that is to cut out our paint palette. And we're gonna use the same scissor safety that we have been using today. And we're just gonna cut all the way around our paint palette and then we will be done for the day. All right, so our mouse paint palette is really starting to come together. Next week, we're actually gonna draw a little mouse to put onto our paint palette, and it's gonna look so amazing and so awesome. I cannot wait to see how your mouse paint palettes are turning out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.